So the third draw along of the series, this time exterior elevations. A lot of the same processes, same tools pretty much except for the fatless pen. And start by lining in. Same process as previously, just working down the page and then working across the page. We're going to draw, uh, draw both elevation A and elevation B. Again, check in as we go along that we've actually covered all the lines just by lifting the tracing paper up. And as previously discussed, just enjoying the process of laying down the lines. As we look at the drawing, we can pay attention to the fact as we've zoomed in that there are different line weights there again as an elevation much flatter than we've seen previously less depth to it at least windows are going to be drawn in the final line ultimately and then the details in a slightly thicker line and then the more uh, sort of defined architectural features or structural features of the building are going to be in the heaviest line so three line weights Probably a couple of hours to line that in. Moving on to the circles, using a circle template as we've mentioned previously. And pencil, pencil, we're just going to get those in place. When we get to the pen aspect and the lining in, we do the circle first, or the half circle in this case, and then connect it up with the straighter lines. So that's all the line work done. Just lay that down. And we'll move on to lining in. So we're going to do set, uh, elevation A <clears throat> first and then we're going to go into elevation B. So it'll be the same uh, sort of line weight. We're going to start thin. Uh, at some point in here there is a, a little mistake where I've laid down a, a, th a thin line when it needed to be a thicker. But because it was thin I can just go over it with a thick line. So that's all of the point ones in, just the windows the door and then we're moving on to a point three now so as I mentioned earlier we're doing them in the point three we have the sort of recesses uh, within the facade of the building and then we're going to move on to a point five to do the more uh, prominent architectural features on this elevation or facade. In terms of line weights, we've got a point 0.1, a point 0.3 and a point 0.5. We could use a point 0.1, a point 0.25 and a point 0.5, uh, a point 0.1, a point 0.3, a point 0.6, whatever you've got as long as there's a delineation between the thinnest and the thickest. And you can see on this drawing that the thinner lines are definitely and definitively thinner than the thick lines that are being put down now. A little bit of scratching just to tidy it up. And then we'll move on to elevation B. So same process, we're going to go in with the point one again. Horizontals working our way down. And you will see as we move up the drawing, we're going to put in the semicircles on the windows on the second floor. Here we go. We're going to put those in first and then we're going to connect using the lines because it's easier to make those junctions precise. 
move on to the point three surface details as it says do all the verticals doesn't matter whether you go horizontal down or vertical across as long as you do one way or the other <clears throat> so you can see just framing the windows just that slightly heavier line just to make that come forward a little bit in total I would say there was there's probably a good four hours in terms of how long that drawing takes pencil and pen so this is sped up by about ten times just a little reminder as we are using the set square upside down so that the ink doesn't smudge Continuing in a point three for the time being, and then moving on to a point five. You can see there's a few overlaps, and also um, a line that needs filling in towards the end. You can see it's just under the the two right hand uh, windows, but we can add that in, so that's fine. Get the ground line in, continue through with all those angled elements. And now you start to see the sort of thickness come through and the depth come through in terms of those line weights. So I haven't covered plans, sections elevations the sort of next phase of that and we've covered a little bit of this in previous videos is uh, bring it together as, as part of an axo so there we go just filled in some of those lines that I mentioned earlier got the border and the title block lined in towards the end of the drawing now let's make sure we get this right and clean to finish bit of rubbing done some scratch and we're going to go back onto the underlay to sort of line in uh, the text again nice and neat And that is pretty much that. End of vlog.